Zombies in Africa. This video is of course by Anjo, please go subscribe. Now in my opinion, this is the absolute best continent to be on during a zombie apocalypse. This of course is assuming I have to just pick one. Of course there are specific regions a part of certain continents that are better. Like for example the Himalayan mountain range in Asia, but just there specifically. You definitely wouldn't want to be India, that's for sure, because it's the most populated country on earth. Just imagine literally billions of zombies. Africa would be nice though because you just have so many different options. Whether that be the Sahara Desert, or the jungles of the Congo, maybe even hide in the mountains of Ethiopia. You'd also have some real nice rivers to sail for navigation. Then there's my favorite part, Africa is not super heavily populated. I mean, it is of course in Nigeria, then you have the northern part of Africa, but then there's a whole lot of space where there's really nobody. On the other hand, that's the problem with Europe, there's very little space where nobody lives. Unless you want to freeze to death in the Nordic region, Europe just has so many cities you'd have to escape from, and they're all pretty tightly packed together. I'm not saying you can't survive, of course, in every single country. Continent. I'm just saying if I had to choose one, Africa would be nice. Now, we're starting this video off in Sicily, the south of Italy, and that is because in this universe, the zombies move from this island to Tunisia, landing in continental Africa. Now, I actually do not live in Africa, so I don't think I'm going to show up in any of these videos. I mean, I doubt it. Anything's possible, I guess, in this series. I love this POV start, especially this part right here where I think he's going to have to stab this guy. I'm pretty sure it's too late. Oh, look, he got bit in the, oh, he got bit in the hand, and here are the Italians as they are running away from the peninsula. See, that's the problem with Italy is they're kind of jammed into a single peninsula. Another reason why I'd like this African continent because you can pretty much run in all directions. You're not gonna get smashed in like some sort of choke point having to like kind of Dunkirk your way out of there or something. Oh, he's turned into a zombie. Yeah, okay. See, that's just another Italian that's gonna fall to the zombie army, the zombie horde, which is why this European country and this universe is absolutely done. Oh, wow, he's bleeding tears. Dang, that's graphic. One of my favorite part about the Anjob series, like, it gets real sometimes. Things get very serious. Uh, yeah, he's probably going to oof his friend right here with the SMG. I think that's an SMG anyways. Oh, that's right, they have the tongue powers, so they have a little bit of a range attack, and, as I've mentioned many times before, there are giant zombies starting to evolve. Uh, like giant animalistic zombies that can take out massive tanks, so tanks aren't as useful as you think in this universe. Oh, see, there he is. He's about to take out his friend, so bam. So Italy is gonna have to Dunkirk, but out of the Italian peninsula, so from Sicily, I think these uh, these Italians are making their way to Tunisia, or especially the north of Africa, and I think that's where we focus. Oh, see, a zombie got into the boat. That's why we're going to spread to Africa, which it probably was either way. I don't know why this is immediately coming to my mind right now, but I'm thinking of the game Plague Inc., which I play a lot of on my gaming channel, Drew. If you're not, please go subscribe. But I've had a lot of scenarios where it gets really hard to reach this continent. Of course, that's assuming Greenland didn't cheat me out of the win in the first place. All right, so here's exactly what we're going to see. We're going to see the Italians escape off their boats. And uh, I was just on a cruise ship. I'm just thinking about like a cruise ship in the zombie apocalypse. Of course, in the chaos, the Italians run to multiple coastlines in Africa. We're talking talking uh, Libya, Algeria, and well, obviously Tunisia, there they are. So we first turn off in Tunisia. So here he already is stumbling upon the boat that will be the demise of Tunisia. And we've talked about how the north of Africa is very interesting because it's it's kind of lives on its own little island. In a way, it's like Australia even because Australia has a massive desert as well. Perth is definitely an island on their own out here. But pretty much you'll just find a heavy amount of people right up here near the Mediterranean. Because these are the more livable areas, uh, at least in this part of the continent because we have the massive desert here. Of course, there's Egypt and the strangest population density map I've ever seen. I think it'd be nice because you'd kind of be able to if you started to see the zombie apocalypse happening in some of these northern African countries, you could make your way into the desert. You could find some way into the Sahara Desert because no one's going to be out there. It's going to be more you versus Mother Nature. But if anyone's going to be able to do it, I mean, if you live there your entire life, you probably would have a generalization. Okay, that's a crazy, that's a really scary shot. So this guy's probably dead. I don't even think I would be following... Well, does he know that the zombie apocalypse is happening? Technically, in this timeline, the zombies hit China and Europe. He probably does. So look, he's fighting them off right now. Oh, good. I'm glad he's strapped, too. Got rid of him pretty easily. He's going to have to tell his homies. And I think it's time to start a quick war. Or, oh, I guess it's already happening because I can hear the gunshots in the background. Dang, this guy just accidentally stumbled upon this massive firefight right here. They're completely surrounded. I'm assuming they can't just escape out the back, even though it looked like they possibly could have. Take that! Ha! Did you think you could get Got to the me? AKs. 
That's a whole other aspect of these videos. You really look up like amount of population that have like firearms. I know the U.S. has a lot of firearms, but which is a whole other uh, point. I mean, maybe the U.S. would do well uh, in a zombie apocalypse, but. In terms of a continental level, you have to think about Mexico and Canada as well. Which Canada, I think, could do pretty good because it's just tundra up there. Mexico would be rough. I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's interesting because they also have a lot of mountains, but so does Africa. And maybe we'll see them eventually get down there. Oh, those are Italian zombies. You can kind of see the faded out green and white. I'm assuming the other side was red, but I don't know. I don't know who else that would really be, to be honest. We don't even know. That's going to be left a mystery. At least the giant zombies haven't made it. And what I think is interesting, because we do know the zombies can walk underwater, these zombies did not do that. They were able to come at least in the boats, or at least in one boat. Okay, so those are Italian zombies. It'd be crazy if we see a Chinese zombie, because that's where the plague started, right? Uh, that would just be interesting, because it's just like, well, how did that even get there? There could have been a, a flight that it snuck in, but, you know, that's always how... Uh, you know, like rodents, uh, and what am I thinking? Um, that's how raccoons and like foxes and things get to places they've never been to before. So really, like when when we see the zombies transition like that, uh, we have, have so many peninsula, different of examples of animals the doing. Local armed groups have organized checkpoints. Oh man, they're traveling. They could easily cut that off. The problem is there's probably more. But it hasn't stopped the virus itself. That's a smaller of infection have started to appear among the smaller area of the peninsula. Taking preventive action, the police have initiated a special operation to Just nuke it. anyone. And, well, that's a whole other police. aspect. So there are no nukes in Africa, which is an interesting thought because I wonder how many countries would think about maybe just nuking their own cities. I mean, it, that's explored in so many different zombie movies. So if a couple crazy nations decide to go that route, definitely Africa's super safe because no one's going to nuke them, I think. No one's going to nuke anything in the Southern Hemisphere, all, especially New Zealand. They say that's like the best place to go. Everyone was happy with this approach. Yeah, see, there, humans start having to do a little bit of uh, sketchy things here. Is that a zombie with with a... Oh, that was probably a sick person with firearms that doesn't like to be... I, I think the couscous was not fresh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I, I feel sick. He's, so he's definitely going down. So there are they already... They're probably eliminating people. Hey, get yourself together. There's something going on there. I don't know what I would do. I feel like I would tell this person hey, he's being kind you, of selfish. If stop. he thinks he's going to be a zombie that must be eliminated. in the next, what? like, 30 we minutes, infected. We're just, uh, don't he should probably well. just, like, isolate himself, not be in public like that, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Nice. I mean, that's going to happen. That's literally going to happen in pretty much every country on Earth. All sick people in the city will be eliminated. But, but that's absurd. I just, I just got a cold. Hmm. I wonder if colds. Oh, dang! So people even with colds, they're going the out. I wonder how much, how the common cold people, would function in a limits. universe like this. We don't know how many zombies are left, but common colds probably. I'm assuming don't affect zombies. I bet you the common cold would be on a crazy decline. If anything, oh, it's not the tongue thing again. What's interesting about when these country ball zombies do the tongue strat is that. Uh, it, it doesn't turn them zombies, into zombies, right? It just run. eliminates the vessel, the run. body. You can't Let's get out of the city. think. I'm pretty sure. I've never seen one of them. In the chaos, civilians Hold flee on. to the mountainous forested area in the west, seeking to hide from the punitive squads. Tunisia's Among definitely falling. Are many infected individuals. As a result, and behind enemy lines too. To grow. The forest once again becomes an ideal breeding ground for the new horde, and the living this become incubators for their eggs. Yeah, this part of there are oh, also those who had to Oh, look at Dunkirk! Another Dunkirk moment. I don't know why I'm thinking about this so much. Of people minimize the risk of infection. Yep. The desert dwellers responded to the news of the zombies. Absolutely, this is the greatest. Their settlements. One of the greatest and spots the to be. And greatly slow down the zombies. I mean, it's very interesting them. because in a zombie apocalypse, humans will be pushed to the outer edges, places that we don't really like to survive, like the tundra or even the deserts, even like the Amazon rainforest, I'm thinking. The desert has become one of the few safe places on Earth. We, we have just been covering this, and it's it's the largest desert on Earth, so you have technically like the most area. Oh, can the zombies not survive the desert? They're already dead, though. I think the zombies would just be like walking around kind of aimlessly. They'd probably, I mean, I know they're dead, but I feel like uh, they'd be a little confused. Can they melt? Hmm, hold on. Random thought, but I have been thinking about how the Sahara Desert is supposedly going back to being maybe green in 20,000 years. Hide there for 20,000 years. 
goes green, survives. So this is, we can probably do a similar situation that could be happening in Australia. Now, I don't think Anjob here has Zombies. covered Australia yet How the hell did they with manage Algerians to so and Tunisians here working together. But uh, this is probably one of similarly the what the Aussies are doing in a land down under. However, my money would probably be put on these people here. They're a little bit more, um, well, just, let's just move on. I'll take him down now. I think they also uh, are more armed. No I know in Look Australia... Um, I think he's public really is not allowed to have yes, firearms. Indeed. I love how even the zombies are sweating and also tearing. Wait, is this the zombie down. from the first one? Contact the because UN. He's bleeding I think this tears. Will be useful information for them. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. We, we have Libya to support to them. Get them a vehicle. So we do have three gun. North African nations working together. Are the, is that the uh, the Toyota Helix? Okay, we have. Uh, that's very strange. Reference to Gaddafi. Okay. See, this is kind of what I'm saying. They probably do have more Toyota Helixes. They're used to the Toyota Wars, in fact. Is this a reference to the Toyota Wars? That was that took place between, was it Libya and Chad? It's actually just the Great Toyota War, but yes, Chad and Libya near the border. Fun fact, if you go somewhere around like 80 miles per hour in one of these vehicles, you can apparently trigger a mine, but still get out of the way fast enough before it explodes. This was back in the day. I don't know if that's the case still. I don't know why I'm bringing this up right now, though. Possibly they can use that to their advantage. I have no idea. Well, technically they could if they just Maybe put those same armor. mines everywhere no, so the zombies run into them. The problem is the zombie casualties, they don't care about losing millions and millions of, like right here. Like, imagine one mine taking out one zombie. Is that really worth the effort? And then you have to drive Toyota Helixes 80 miles an hour to get over them around them. But I don't know how this big of a horde, we're not that deep in the Sahara Desert, obviously, so that is a factor. We're, we're kind of in just like southern Tunisia right now. Okay, that is a lot of, uh, oh wow. That, that's just hilarious. That is... I forgot that was in the physics of the Country Ball universe. But I'm glad that we did get to see that. Oh, here it is. So they already have this... Oh, man. That's... Gotta admit, that is pretty epic. Straight up just Mad Max right now. If only Toyota Helixes were legal in the U.S. Well, sorry, they're actually not banned, just Toyota refuses to sell them in the U.S. because of taxes. That's so lame. I want to start a uh, border Saharan African war uh, with a bunch of Toyota Helixes. Like, I thought this was America. I thought... <laughs> I thought we are supposed to be free. I guess not. Okay, so nice. That truck is doing Malta. pretty good. Oh, Malta. The infection of this Which, state I don't the believe technically Gulf Malta is considered an African country or an African island even. Africa does have for a long technically time, a lot of islands the virus to the people that are under the, the continent. Maybe point, I shouldn't say a lot, but the they do have islands. Worsened dramatically, and the infected turned okay, into so zombies. people from Malta Their are going to need to run. With the island was suspended, and the Coast Guard forces quarantined the island. Well, the good thing about the islands is Later, you can kind of clean them up pretty easily if you the do like a D-Day invasion and just eliminate infection. all the zombies on the island. And Meanwhile, Malta's not super heavily not populated, arrived at the international airport. you know, compared to other islands. Plenty of islands are like that, but you could easily clean out an island. Maybe that's why Oceania is also a great continent among us. How to understand that my friend is an imposter. Um, Oceania is also a pretty good continent for a zombie apocalypse as well. For this reason, Unknown because it's just a lot of islands. Identify yourself. But there are islands as Unknown well. Unknown aircraft. Equatorial Guinea is one of them that I'm thinking about. They have their capital out there on an island, off continental Africa. Deploy troops to the runway. I probably wouldn't want to stay there, to be quite honest. That's the only thing about when an island gets overrun is, uh, well, you're trapped and you're gonna have to figure out a way out, and you better have a boat. But it. I guess the Mediterranean, there's worse places than the Mediterranean to have to sail away from. Yeah, this is, uh, this doesn't seem like a great idea, but you have to do it. I mean, you're going to have to, I wonder where this, where is this plane even going to land? That's what I'm wondering. It's probably, oh, this SCP again. The SCP here is here. To bring in now I've covered this before in the past SCP and the country ball universe have been doing a lot of crossovers lately so we already watched this stuff I mean they're just coming and day. you know they're doing weird setting up things. headquarters in the tower of st. Mary st. Mary Ooh, that looks like a pretty cool place to get stationed the laboratory of studying the virus was set up in the abandoned isolation hospital the foundation's task is to find out abandoned isolation hospital 
They're gonna start doing experiments on zombies, which is never a bad idea. I'm sure that will definitely experimental specimens. That definitely will not backfire. So they're gonna go capture zombies, take them back to the experimental hospital. This guy's already in a lot of trouble. I like their little um, inflatable boats, though. Inflatable boats. I mean, that's what it looks like. It seems like a great idea to take in inflatable boats. I, I don't even think they're going to care about helping uh, the citizens. I, they might even take this dude out. They probably want him to be... Oh, that's right. So he's going to get abducted. There's the hammer. Oh, because they, they have Thor's hammer. Love the maps. Zombies. According to some reports, mutation with increased intelligence. Oh yes, yeah. so this is what I was saying. Certain zombies are stronger than before. Act extremely quietly. Zombies must not realize we're here. The Punisher. He's basically a Punisher SCP. So I don't think we're gonna cover too deep into Africa. I hope that they eventually get into that later, especially in the Congo. That's straight up from Monsters Inc., isn't it? Are, do they have access to Monsters Inc.? Oh, they probably do. In this universe. Oh crap. So that they're just bringing this over from a completely different universe. Good. I'm glad they have silencers at the very least. Zombies. They're just there dumb. will be some crazy military teams that start to form during the zombie apocalypse. They say they have collective consciousness. That are probably extremely efficient. Alpha, who can direct that would be very difficult to take out. Needed. But they have those <laughs> tongue things. My ass. What a load of crap. Okay, these guys just seem a little bit um, like they're gonna get killed, obviously, because a little bit arrogant. That one fell to his death. That's nice. If I mean, they'll maybe accomplish their goals, but pretty sure they're about to get eaten here. Are they really being that loud? You got silencers, but you're. Oh, well, it's, he might be infected already. I wouldn't even do it. I like that silencer sound effects though. Well, these finish the goal. Oh, they need sil they need satellites for I'm guessing communication. There is probably something in there. Whoa. I like that fast forward there. I feel like they would already have walkie-talkies, no? Or maybe this is to communicate with a different group of people organization. Oh man, dude, just snipe its eye right here. What the? F <laughs> oh, what's the that? jump sound what was effect? It? Oh, sh oh, I thought I saw a zombie there. Yeah, they and made things ten times worse. Eyes. This is now ten times worse. I love this map overview, the final map overview of basically what zombie pop zombie population is almost at 1 billion already. And they are in Australia, they're in the Philippines, they're in Bangladesh, they're pretty much all over the place in Europe, and they are in my home state of California, of course. Definitely hope we cover more of Africa in the future. Very educational. In the videos by Anjo, please go subscribe. To my patrons this month, thank Lucas, you. Lucas, the Canadian goose from Avaka. <laughs> Zany boy, Sarsaf. I cannot sleep without douche. Amateur archaeology. Fat Carmel. Norwal. S. Connor. The beautiful Megan. Frederick Tiblin. Inquisitor. Kansas. Jerry's Denver. King Bear. Hey, Lucas. Prentice. So if you heard this, I love you.